This is a forest cobra, Niger subfulva. Historically, it was called Niger melanoleuca, but uh, the forest cobras throughout Africa have been split into five different species. And uh, this one is now referred to as the brown forest cobra, the one that we get in South Africa. Found from Belito, northwards up the coast, going into uh, the extreme northern Kruger National Park and reaching uh, the eastern Sotbansberg. As the name indicates, it is a forest species. It does like very dense vegetations, uh, basks in the day, hunts in the day, and uh, very, very quick to disappear into dense un undergrowth the moment it's disturbed. Also a very good climber, goes high up into trees. Uh, in parts of Africa, these forest cobras prior to shedding will go high, high up into trees and they remain up there for a week or two until they've shed their skin. It feeds on rodents, birds, uh, toads and other snakes, quite well known for, uh, for eating snakes. Quite easy to identify in that the forest cobra is golden brown colour going very, very dark towards the tail, nearly a, a blackish colour, and uh, also has a, a sharp spike on the tip of its tail. The venom of the snake is uh, both neurotoxic and cytotoxic. It's often thought that the cobras have a neurotoxic venom. The dominant neurotoxins are in the black mamba and uh, in the cape cobra. With bites from this snake in South Africa, we see a fair amount of, of tissue damage. They lay anything from about 11 to 34 eggs at a time, and uh, the young that hatch about two months later measure around 30 to 34 centimeters in length. 